Shane back with you. Shane Simpson here from Guitar at Work. Welcome back. Bob Seger song. You gotta have some Bob Seger in your repertoire for sure. This is Against the Wind, and it should be a quick one. Um, not much to it uh, from this angle anyway. Just some chords and a strumming pattern. Anxious to get to a play-along video on this song. So this, this video is just to get you going on the song. If there's anything new to you in the area of chords, you may have to stop and get those chords together and then proceed to the play-along video where we'll play it at a medium speed and then at full speed ahead. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. Look for that uh, right after. Um, so we are, hey, hey, thanks for coming back and thank you for subscribing and it's been really, really great. We're getting way up there in the numbers. Thank you for your thumbs up, comments and suggestions and uh, there'll be an opportunity to subscribe a little later on so thanks again for that. Um, we are no capo here or no capo and go and get the song sheet. Sheets for this. I'll be referring to this constantly so it, uh, it will help you for sure. Um, it's starting out on a G chord. A G chord just like that we all know and love. Lots of G chords, lots of possibilities out there. You could use what I call the big kids G. Uh, if you prefer that one there's no consequence. Just all good. I'm going to go with a four finger G here like that and uh, the strumming pattern. Um, now when somebody imposes a strumming pattern upon you it's never just that all through the song. Just Maybe it's, it's a pattern that captures the spirit of the song uh, but you probably wouldn't do that the entire song. So we'll do it. We'll do a couple today on this. I'm going to resort to the uh, the old classic down down up up down up again That was down down up up down up. And you'll see that written in the top right of that sheet there um, So we're sitting on G. Uh, we're gonna sit on G for a little while in the intro I'm gonna go four bars on that G three four down down up up down up down down up two more to go Okay, now two more G's, verse G, two patterns, seems like yesterday. Now B minor, let's take a second here now, don't let this be a showstopper, I have a whole video coming out dedicated to this B minor chord so we nail it once and for all. Here is a bar chord, if it is new to you, it is definitely a difficult chord to get to if it's new to you. A couple of ideas here, there's the shape first of all. There's the guy. Uh, you're barring the second fret up to and including the A string. I would not recommend barring all six. It's called an overbar. That just sends the wrong signal to your right hand there. Um, then we basically have an A minor shape. An A minor shape that is fingered a little differently than A minor, but it is an A minor shape nonetheless. I've got my middle finger here, third fret B string. Ring finger is the fourth fret on the D string, and pinky is on the fourth fret of the G string. And now, if your wrist is up like that, that's a bad thing for sure. You're getting, you're ruining all your crush power on that on that B minor. So get that wrist down nice and low. Um, I always mention that uh, first finger as straight as he can be to get that first finger as straight as he can go, just like that. There we go. He's straight like that. And I like to, if you cuddle right up to the fret itself with that first finger, right on top of the fret, and then roll him to your left. That often gets rid of some of the buzzing that you might you might get a little bit. Of this at first we all do and it's frustrating I know but try to get on that fret roll them to your left just like that there we go and live hey, if you get just, you know three or four of the five notes out of the uh, in that chord you have a functional B minor and just hope that it'll get cleaner as you go the trick is of course getting there and look for that video that's all about the B minor chord how to get there how to practice it how to finally get it out of the way because it opens the doors for a whole lot of songs so there's B minor I'm gonna do two bars of that we're in the first line of those lyrics two bars two patterns three four down down up up down up down down, up, heading to a C in that second line. This is just a garden variety C. Three, four, down, one pattern. Back to a G here, you know it. Now there's a D coming, one bar of that. You know that chord. C, one bar, one pattern, I mean. And the next line, here's your G again for two bars. Down, two patterns, secrets that we shared. There's that pesky B minor again. Take a second here, load them up. I'm gonna put the bar on there first and the other three are gonna get on there. Wrist is nice and low. First finger straight. Hey, and a little pull with the left shoulder this way. Uh, that might get help you get rid of any death grip you might have going on there. Here's B minor for two bars. Three, four, and a mountains that we move. There's two bars of that B minor. Heading to a C here. Nothing weird about that. G, wildfire, out of control. And a C. Now here's D twice. OK, 
Okay, that's going to bring us to the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus, uh, as the name suggests, happens before the chorus. Uh, you'll see bracketed uh, chords and brackets there. That, on my charts anyway, that just means it gets half the value of what's come before it. So what once was four beats, if it didn't have brackets, is now two beats a piece. So bracketed stuff, they get two beats each, okay? So I'll dispense with the fancy strum, and on the E minor, I'm just going to do this. E minor, one and two, and that's all I get. I'm going to head to the D now. Three and four. And now when we get to the G that's not bracketed, I'll go back to the original pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So the first line of that pre-chorus where the lyrics are, and I remember what she said to me, let's go E minor, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Here's a D. G gets a full pattern, the old pattern, down, down, up. Second line, much the same, but E minor. It's gonna go to C here, C, go. Three. And it's bracketed, so it's quicker. Here's G. Down, down, up. Third line of the pre-chorus, E minor. D coming. That's bracketed as well. Here's your C. Down. Now it's two bars of C with the fancy pattern. Last line of the pre-chorus is a D, one bar. And he's going to head right into the chorus at that point. So here is a pre-chorus at sort of medium clip here without uh, too much talking. Here's E minor to D, three, four, E minor, D. G gets four beats down, down, up. Second line, E minor to C, C, G. E minor to D, D. C gets two bars, full patterns. Another C. going to the chorus a bit. Um, hey, if you're feeling pretty good about that, I know a lot of you, these chords, you've done these chords a million times, so you may have already skipped through, in which case you're not seeing this, but <laughs> if you're feeling pretty good about those two beats on the E minor to D, etc., the bracketed stuff, uh, you could add a little smack in there. I might go E minor, beat one, D, then to the G. Smile. That might add a little punctuation to your playing, so at full clip, it'd be E minor, three, four, E minor, D, G, down. Second line is E minor, C, G. So that's beats two and four you're slapping on. And the slap, you, you could just use the side of your hand right there, just whack it. I also like to drag the pick through. So if I go E minor on the deadened strings, I'll chick, I'll call it a chick, chick. So I've deadened the strings with that side and I'm just dragging the pick through. It just gives me a more of a percussive flavor there. So E minor, whack, D, whack, down, down, up. E minor to C, down, whack, C. G, down, down, up, E minor to D, D, C is double, and a D, and then we're going right into the chorus, piece of cake for you guys, here's a G, I'll go G, straight uh, pattern, three, four, B minor, I'm slowing it down, you know, let's get to that B minor, take your time. Barring it first, getting those guys on there, wrist is low, pulling with the left shoulder, B minor, three, four, running against the wind. Against the wind. Now brackets come C to B minor, B minor, A minor, C, and G. Four bars of G. So there'll be four of those G's in there. Uh, I'll do that chorus again. Now that's nasty to have the C to the B minor with only two beats. So if B minor is new to you, you're going to find you may have to stop tape and just treat it like an exercise. Uh, try to get there. You know you could leave the previous chord a little early to get to that B minor on time. Steal a little bit of time from the, pre from the previous chord. Um, let me do it. Here, here's your chorus. Medium tempo, but full steam. Three, four, G. B minor. Going now. B minor. C. G. Running against the wind. C to B minor, two each, C to B minor, C, B minor, A minor, C, and four bars of G. Just sitting on G. I was two, and here's three, and the last one. Okay. So that's it. That's it. There's nothing more in there. If you've got that far, um, you'll be ready to go to our play along video. Uh, and here's a hint too. Even if you cannot get to that B minor on time, go to the play along video, play along anyway, and just get in there and fight for your life. You might just almost get there and then you have to get to the next chord. 
that's a good skill to have. It's like playing with other people. You can't stop. You got to get there. You got to know how much time has gone by if something goes wrong. So just get in there and fight for it. And you'll find that's a good way to practice. Two ways to practice. One is that real time way I just described with the play along video. The other way would be to isolate. G to B minor. Uh, just isolate. G. B minor, round around, just like that. That's a really good thing to do for sure. Like that. Um, so we'll catch you on the play along video. You'll see a link to that in the description of this video. So hopefully this one has prepared you for that. And go get those song sheets. Thanks again for subscribing, guys. Lots more coming your way. This was by request, and I really appreciate that. Um, thumbs up is a big deal on YouTube, so I'd appreciate that as well. Keep the comments, suggestions coming. Hit the bell notification if you subscribe. It just tells you when new videos have come out. So lots more coming. See you again soon. Bye bye. See you. Oh.